Yo, what's going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So today what we're going to be doing is showing you guys the best brawlers to play with randoms. A lot of the times when I show you guys the best comp in different maps and different modes, you guys say a lot of the time you're playing with randoms and something that would be very useful is knowing the best brawlers to play when playing with other randoms. So what we're going to be doing is showing you guys the five best brawlers to play with other randoms. Now there's not going to be an order and I'm going to give a few shout outs to a few other brawlers at the end. But what we're going to do is get into some games and tell you guys why these brawlers are so good to play with other randoms. So let's get into it and let's show you guys what we got. So coming in with the first spot and probably the best one overall is going to be Tara. Now Tara is a very obvious one for a few reasons. You guys are going to see a little bit of a trend on this video for why brawlers are good with randoms. But Tara has really two very much main ones. Number one is going to be her super. You guys know how good Tara super is. Probably one of the best supers if not the best super in the game. Um, it's very team changing, it's very game changing in basically every single mode outside of like Siege and Heist. And you know, it's just very, very good. You can go and win your own lane and then super the mid or super the other lane like you guys just saw with the right side and get really easy kills. Now obviously, this game is going to be shot entirely with randoms, so we're going to be playing with different randoms for the entirety of this video. Uh, but anyways, the second reason for why Tara is so good is because of her gadget. Now a lot of this is going to be how you can help your teammates, even though you don't have technical teammates, you're going to want to synergize with them as best as you can. Giving them your vision, like you guys see on the screen right now, don't mind that Tara super, that didn't happen. It's going to help them a lot with winning lane, winning their matchups when they might not be as good of players. You're basically giving them an advantage while also giving yourself an advantage. If you're playing a brawler like Spike, yeah, that brawler is going to be really good. And you might be really good with it, but you have to find a way to elevate your teammates when you're playing with randoms because you're it's just going to be random. I'm literally playing with a Crow and a Shelly. Like, there's absolutely no coordination, no good team comp, no nothing about this. The Shelly has a gem. She doesn't care. She's just running around their spawn. But it's still a re really easy win because we played Tara and because we did it properly. Tara is probably the best brawler to play with randoms. And I would definitely consider pushing with randoms if you can with Tara. So let's keep going and let's keep going on the list. All right, so here we go into the next game. And the next brawler is going to be Max. Now, Frank did confirm on Twitter a couple days ago, maybe around a week ago, that Max will very likely be receiving a nerf soon. So with that being said, this might not stay on the list for very long, but while it is, it is definitely one of the best brawlers to be playing with randoms. Now, as I've said many times when I'm playing Max, Max is one of the worst brawlers for me. You know, I haven't really played a lot of Max. I didn't like playing Max, and when Max got a buff, my teammate said, you know what, this is my brawler. I'm going to play this. You do not have to worry about it. So I've played very little Max. Um, I did push it a little bit to about 1,000 cups, but that doesn't matter. So the reason Max is really good is because you can, again, kind of like Tara, control an entire game by yourself. You can up, you can lift your teammates up, obviously, with that speed, and it's just such a good brawler for coordination. It goes with every single brawler. If you're playing with tanks and you give tank speed, you give them a huge buff. If you're giving, if you're playing with range like a Piper and you give them speed, your Piper can run up, a Jean, a Tara, they can make game-changing plays. Max synergizes with everyone, and then on top of that, it's a really good brawler on its own. So kind of like Spike, when I was talking about Spike, where you can just kind of dominate lanes, it's basically the same thing with Max. As you guys can see, the left side was totally uncontested for basically the entirety of the game. Now, unfortunately, we did kind of all go down, so we do have to make a play here. But we do have max and when you're playing with randoms you're also kind of put in a random pool so the opponents you get will also be randoms you know they might not be the smartest players in the world the best players in the world so as long as you can do your job and try and help out your other your teammates as much as possible it should be good now, that's exactly what you saw here their tara kind of made a silly play that only you know randoms kind of make and that's going to blow the game for them and as long as you're helping out your teammates you know giving them that speed helping them out and winning your lane you're going to be fine now we are going to go down over here but this game was a w i shot these games back to back to back to back to back every single game um just because you guys know i like legitimacy on my channel but we're going to be able to win this game. Not much to show you in the last five seconds over here. So let's just cut into the next game and let's keep it going. So hopping into the next game, we have a very obvious one and it's going to be Jean. Now, unlike Tara and Max, you don't have the ability to kind of uplift your teammates and help them out with their lanes or help them out with much. But obviously, Jean is one of the best brawlers to play with randoms for a very obvious reason. And that would be that pull. Now, obviously, the pull is game changing. If you believe you are good enough, to hit a game winning pull when it matters, Jean is the best brawler to play with randoms. Or if you believe you can just chain pulls over and over and over, Jean is the best brawler to play with randoms. I myself am pretty confident with Jean. 
And if you are too, you know, this is definitely the best one to play with randoms. You just dominate a game. You can chill in that mid. You can, although you don't have like the insane abilities that Tara and Max do to help your teammates, if you're standing close to your teammates and you do have star power, then you can heal them for like 400 per second, which, you know, might not seem like a big number, but over time, that's really good and really useful for helping win lane. You guys can see I'm always going to be around my Pam and my bow to help them out. And if we're just hitting easy pulls over and over, it's always going to be a 3v2. And more times than not, your team is going to win that 3v2, even if they are the unfortunate dreadful randoms. So obviously the game is going really well. Your random, you always got to expect a random to throw. Our random just gave them three free gems because, you know, that's what randoms do. Um, but, you know, we're going to continue with the game. We're going to continue helping our lanes. And all we really have to do is hit one more pull to kind of win this one. So we're just going to go for a really easy pull over there. Going to be able to get that kill. Crow's going to jump on us. No worries. Our random Pam is just going to help us out. And we're, we not, we're not even making any crazy plays. We're kind of just grabbing the gems, walking along. You know, things just happen. You're in a random pool. People make mistakes. All we got to do is really just hit one more pull. Really easy pull, like five tiles. And we're just going to walk up, get that gem, and walk away. So, yeah, Gene is really easy to carry with. Probably one of the easiest brawlers. Gem, it's really good. Brawl Ball, it's really good. Siege, it's really good. I would avoid Bounty, but Bounty, it is playable. And then, obviously, you know, I wouldn't really recommend Gene and Siege. But that is going to be this brawler. Let's move on to the next, and let's keep going. Now, coming in at the next spot, and this one's going to be one of my favorites, we have Sandy. Now, Sandy might not be the best brawler in comparison to Max, Tara, or Gene. But at the moment, Sandy might just be the best to synergize with randoms, and let me tell you why. The super that you have is probably the easiest super in the game to change a game with. Again, like I've said before, when you're playing with randoms, you're going to be put in a random player pool majority of the time. Now, there are obviously going to be exceptions, but you look right here. We're facing like a level two Sandy. I don't even know how that's even possible at this amount of trophies. We have a Barley mid and then obviously the Mortis because what random team is complete unless you're playing with the Mortis. Now, you guys aren't looking at the screen right now. Don't mind me and the mines. I love bow mines so much. My favorite thing in the game. Bow might actually also be a pretty good brawler to play with random. So it's not going to be in the video, but that's definitely going to be one of the honorable mentions. But once you get that super, you're basically set. So you guys can see the score is 8-0. A, li a little bit difficult for us right now. You know... And we have a terrible comp, but once you get that super down, it's really easy for you to just kind of walk up and do well. We're able to get a really easy kill on that Sa on that Shelly, not Sandy, sorry, over there. And our Mort is going to go and try and do some work. It had a really easy kill on the bow. Unfortunately, it kind of choked that. But again, we're going to get our super back. We're just going to throw it down. Going to be able to get the kill, and we're going to maintain control. Now, obviously, like Max, like Tara, the super is going to help out your teammates a ton as it covers so much of the map and that they can help out. Now, if we were facing a Sandy that was the same level as us, it might have been a little bit more difficult of a challenge. But fortunately, we didn't. We faced a low level Sandy, and that's kind of just the type of stuff that happens at this level. But anyways, that is going to be a really easy game with Sandy, even though we were down for basically the entire time and had a terrible comp. It yeah, was a level 5 Sandy, that's pretty crazy. But that is going to be a really easy win. So we're going to move on to the final brawler for the video. So let's hop into it and show you guys what it is. So hopping into our final game, this one is going to be a little bit strange, but it's going to be Daryl. Now you guys might be thinking, you know, how is Daryl even at all similar to the other 4 or 5 brawlers if you include Bo that I have named? It does not help your teammates. It does not have that super that's kind of game changing. But what it does have is crazy DPS ability and crazy kill ability. You guys see I roll up, get a kill, roll back down, get another kill. And you can do that over and over and over and over again with Daryl. Additionally, it's really good in Siege. It's really good in Heist. Unlike the other brawlers, you can carry in modes that has an Ike or a safe. And it's just a very good killable brawler. Now, this brawler, you just YOLO with the entire game. Do not pick up gems. Do not get stars in bounty. Try and let your teammates get them if possible. And just continuously roll over and over. If I were you and I were trying to learn Daryl, the most important thing that you can do is make sure you just hit people on your roll. Like you're seeing every single time I get a roll and I chain it, I just bop them. I gain like a quarter of my super back. Auto aim, auto aim, and roll right back on out to the next guy. Personally, I like using shield um, because it makes it a lot easier to roll on people. 
but that's just me you know i like to do silly things um a lot of people like using rolling reload which is really good but you guys can see you're just rolling around killing and that's basically all you want to do now at this point i'm going to get a kill but i'm going to kind of throw the game so we're just going to cut it over here and go back to the main screen so let's keep it rolling you saw nothing. Now, unfortunately, I want to add one more brawler to the list, but I can't play it for a little bit of an obvious reason, and it is going to be Poco. Now, my Poco's 1388, so I'm sorry, I'm not going to play my world record Poco with randoms, but it is probably the best brawler to play with randoms outside of the ones that I've named, because you can heal your teammates, you can do whatever you want, but personally, if I were playing with randoms, I would be using Screeching Solo, so you can get the heals, you can get the damage, and you can get the kills all at once. It is the ultimate random carrying machine it is a very good brawler to play and i would highly suggest using it but anyways that is going to be the video i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did let me know if you guys think that there are any other good brawlers to play with randoms let me know in the comment section below but that's going to be it i will catch you guys later peace